Love I miss you guys video. so much. Hey guys, I need you guys to refresh your chat and do the Rapture Centric at night one because not everybody's in the correct one. So I'm trying to get all that fixed. So we just had some technical difficulties, but they are all been fixed now, thanks to the Lord. So <clears throat> I've been uh, getting 356,000 texts from people asking me if I knew that something was wrong while I was trying to fix it. And I just want to say thank you to all those people. And now I have Luke You're welcome. with me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm one Luke's of the people here. that call him at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is another one. All right, hold on. See, this is what happens when something goes wrong with the show. I'll be right back. I'm just going to awkwardly stand here and wait for him. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna. This show is gonna be salvaged. It's act, it's gonna get better. Say it, mm-hmm. say it, Luco. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. Prepare for farts and claps and all that. You know. <laughs> you hear that? All right. What is that? How about this, guys? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make it. That's my ringtone. I'm gonna make a quick announcement. <laughs> Stop calling my cell phone. I'm in the middle of the show. I, the show's back on. I love you guys. Um, and I, hey, Sherry, I think hey, you were in the other quick. chat, and so I think you need to reload because uh, I don't see Sherry loaded up into this one here. So, Sherry, if you can hear me, pop over into just log log back in or whatever you got to do. Go ahead, Luke. Do you think it would be uh, really convenient and funny if we explained to the world what uh, delayed our show? Oh, I don't know. You can do it because if I start going at it right now, you guys are going to stop thinking <laughs> I'm a Christian. <laughs> I, dude, you'd be the one to do it, dude, not me. I was just thinking it, it could possibly uh, prevent it from future, uh, you know, situations, you know. <laughs> well, here's what here's what it really is, guys. A, a person that in, in life has decided to make it his life's effort to... Um, Stalk someone, mainly Katie, but he wants to mess, basically mess with everybody on the show. His name's Bo, and Bo likes to go in and illegally get into Katie's phone and email address and stuff like that, and he's attacked the, the show recently. And so seeing how the email address of the show is linked with none other than Katie's, then when I changed the password yesterday, he went and had it resubmitted and changed and got the new password to do his goofy little stuff, like change the... Katy Perry songs to uh, raunchy, nasty songs, stuff like that. But I can tell you, I got to go pick up. I got to drive out to South Carolina and pick up my brother Dustin, and uh, we're gonna make a trip to to Alabama, so I can teach a little young man out there what what we do to what what Kansans do to people that do this kind of stuff. So that's about the softest way I can put it. All right. So yeah, if everybody's wondering uh, what causes us to have some delay sometimes. There's your explanation. <laughs> so, yeah, what goes around is all note, around. How was your day? <laughs> it was actually pretty good. I had a good morning show. I was actually saying all this and realizing that we weren't on the right show. Um, <clears throat> but had a good good show this morning. Had uh, Christine and her husband Aaron on, and they shared a whole bunch, and it was awesome. And... Uh, Tomorrow morning, guys, I want to make a real quick announcement on that one. Um, Dustin's going to go over the news and prophecy. And uh, so I don't really like getting into the news, especially on the evening show. There's lots of children that listen, and we don't need to be talking about things that children don't need to hear before they go to bed. Uh, But 
Luke gave me a word today. Made me yes. smile. He, Jason gave me a word today, and it made me smile. <laughs> Do you want me to read your your word, Luke? Uh, the one you gave to me, or the uh, yeah, one I gave person? to you. Uh, the one that I gave you. I'd have to go look it up in my email. <laughs> I have it right in front of me. Oh, okay, then you read it. <laughs> okay. This was the word the Lord gave me today about Luke. It said, I love my son, Luco, very much. He has a tenderness in him that came from me, the great I am. He will rule with me in my kingdom. My plans for him are great, but he does not understand my plans yet. He will in time. I love you, Luco, and I'm grateful for your love. Please fully accept my love for you and trust me with everything. I have you in my hands. Nothing can harm you. Trust me, son. All of this is my will. That is all Yeshua. Yep, Aww. and that got me stoned this morning. Um, <laughs> uh, Did it last for a while? Uh, yeah, a few minutes, yeah. And Yeah, it was weird because it's never happened to me before. So I was all like, Jason, what'd you do to me? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'll read the one I gave to you then. Um, okay. Okay, this is for Jason. My son, whom I am well pleased, thank you for your service. You have been a light shining through to my people. Your heart is genuine, and they see me in that. I am proud of you. Your rewards are great, although you didn't desire them. You desire me, son, and you will see me shortly. Amen. On that note, I will be right back in like two minutes. Oh, we'll just (laughs) just put the whole show on hold for Luke. (laughs) No, you keep talking. I just really have – I'll be right back. All right. Luke's got to go to the little wrangler's room. Um, I'm waiting for Pat to call in because I got a word for her, guys, and I got to tell you, I got these first two words, and it was just like normal Jesus voice. And when he gave me the word for Pat, guys, it was weird. It was like I was reading somebody else's love letter. It really was. I mean, I was even like smiling, like, okay, this is weird. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put, bring a couple people on. Uh, we got 510. Hello, 510. Hello? Hello, 510. How are you? Hi. Um, I want to know, are you doing any questions today, readings? What do you mean by readings? Uh, spiritual readings. Well, what, what are you what are you what are you seeking? Uh, I was trying to ask about this property I just rented. You want to know about the property you just rented? Yeah, we'll I want to get. Oh. It's all right. It's, just explain it to me. We can have a. I just I'm not on the same level, so why don't you explain to me? Well, I'm trying to see if this guy is going to actually meet me today to bring me the keys to the place. Would you call and ask him to? I'm just curious. I mean, you want to know if the Lord's going to tell you? Yeah. Okay. Let me check with my fellow brothers and sisters in the chat room. i got to type it to him. They said yes in a way that you only you could understand. That's the word several people are getting. That makes sense. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank I'm you. Back. All right. All right. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Jason. Hey, brother. I just got done making oh. up stories and stuff. Oh. It was really funny. Awesome. <laughs> It was just on. I heard some dude. <laughs> some troll that calls in and says, yes, I want to know if you guys are doing readings today because I want to know if the person is going to be bringing me keys to my property today. So I made up a story about me asking everybody in chat and then told them that, that they would, but only in a way that he would understand. Dude, I left at the worst time possible. I, would have had I know, so I totally. Yeah, nobody... <laughs> Don't nobody nobody's even given me any like ha ha haws in the chat room. That was pretty funny, guys. That's not even Wow, you guys are lame. Tough crowd tonight. <laughs> so 
So I heard uh, Judy. I, uh, Judy said she got an like an update on the timing or something like that, but I didn't hear what it was. <laughs> Did you hear anything about that? I do, but I think it's best if uh, she shares it because I don't like. It, we um, had a long conversation. She was getting several things, and so um, I'm trying to remember what I was. Okay, I just got out of a very stressful moment by getting the show all squared away. So let me calm right. back down. Uh-huh. Thank you, I think Stacey. it's a uh-huh. cool appreciation. good time for uh-huh, Judy to call in and share. Uh-huh. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> nod, nod. Um, <laughs> the uh, trying to think. Okay, there. Dustin had a deal, and I think he's going to talk more about this on uh, tomorrow morning's show. But uh, March twenty second being uh, the start of the three and a half year, the Great Tribulation, and so we have to be out of here before then. And is I am very, I'm not excited about rapture dates for me right now. I don't know why. I think it's something about happened to me last Sunday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason. But there's a lot of things that line up and Judy's or John's 100th day is Friday which is also none other than Judy's birthday yay Judy yay Judy <laughs> um, and she's out of, of soda and she loves soda and so if anybody and everybody could get her a bunch of soda shipped to her house, that would be great, because she is a huge fan of soda. Um, but uh, the 100th day, and then I'm going to let Judy tell the personal spiritual side of it, but I can tell you that she was more rocked in the spirit than I've ever talked to her today before, ever. And me and her have been pretty stoned together. I mean, we are <laughs> junkies together sometimes. She have straight-out junkies on the phone. And... uh Spirit hits I know how that goes. Rock. And so for Judy to say something like, this is the most hammered she's been in the spirit since all this stuff started, that to me is very That's impressive. Pretty, whoa. I didn't think of it like that. That's actually pretty crazy because I've seen her when she's pretty whacked. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but Judy needs to call in. I want to hear this. Um... I'm waiting for Pat to call in. I wonder if things got messed up or something because there's lots of people in the chat room, but there's not a whole lot of people calling in right now. It's just me, you, and one listener. Um, Well, people probably came on in the beginning and were like, oh, there's no show. Okay. And then they gave up. I'm an LB. There's no show. Here, that's something don't announce. You want to hear something cool? Here it go. Um, If we miss a show or two and there's no video from Judy explaining that something happened. Now, we did miss Sunday evening, and uh, there was a huge response about everybody saying, oh, my God, what happened to the show? And so, guys, we aren't going to miss any shows. Um, and so, I mean, some technical things could go wrong, but nothing nothing could really keep us. Okay, Judy's calling me on my cell phone. <laughs> yes, Judy, how are you? Hi, Judy. Did you mean to call my phone, or did you mean to call the show? Yeah, it's a different number. <laughs> Everybody make fun of Judy. She called my cell phone thinking she was calling the show. She's so high on the spirit. She's like, I don't know which number to call. <laughs> but real quick here, Patricia. Hi, guys. What ha- what happened? You had nice music playing. Oh, <laughs> Bo happened. There That's was, what there happened. There was... Tec- technical trolls, no big deal. Oh, really? <laughs> Couldn't beat me and Luco. <laughs> yeah, I, I was did really it, guys. stressed I'm out sorry. trying to fix it, but, but but Luke called me and, and gave me encouraging words in the middle of it, and I really appreciated him calling me during my oh, stressful times. Oh, glad you guys are all. Wait, what did I? I just asked if we were doing the show. <laughs> no, I was like, are we doing just, the show? He's okay. like, I'm working on it. <laughs> You know, because okay. well, I have to give my I have to give my calm voice, guys, because you know I get texts. I got a whole bunch of texts all of a sudden, just boom, 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 boom and my phone's ringing, phone's ringing, <laughs> phone's ringing from all these people. Hey, bro, oh, you sure. got problems on the show? Sherry and I are in the morning show, chat and elevator music playing. Hmm. And you're like, yeah, I know, guys. 
and I'm trying to get a hold of people I need to get a hold of to fix certain things. Wow. But Patricia, I yes, tried to dear. call you today, young lady. Um, I tried to call a, you. Leave a message. So, yeah. You didn't leave a message. No, she thought I was. A, she thought I had the <laughs> wrong number. And uh, oh, but it was okay. What is your <laughs> number? So it's better Pat. if I call you. Um, <laughs> My phone you, number I, is for yeah. anybody that wants it. it sure. You can text me, call me, whatever. I don't have it your. Three one six. Three yeah. Three one six. Go ahead. No, three one six. Got it. Eight three three. One four nine nine. Okay, because I had called um, Kansas City, and they had another Jason Chambers, and it was a different number. It was 316, but it was different. It was 40-something, oh, nah. 4-something. Okay. All right. I'm in Wichita. Yeah. So well, re- Wichita. read the number back to me. You got it? 316-833-1499. Yeah, Amen. So, Amen. I'm going to call you now, Jason. Number. Yes, love. You already have my number. <laughs> I have a word for you. Yes, love. Go ahead. I could use a word. Okay. Uh, you, this, this, Pat, uh, to me, the words don't even do it because I got a word for myself this morning and then I got one for, for Luke, which I just got done reading, and they had the same tone to them and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And I felt awkward the way Jesus was talking about you. Really? Why? It felt like I was reading because it felt like I was reading somebody else's romantic love letter. I swear if there's somebody that's going to be married to Christ up there, it's going to be you, Pat. Okay, there's things I'm I have in you, the letters. He, Listen to me real quick. There are things in the letters that I read you that I can't tell you. And Jesus said, when when everyone's in heaven, then they can know more about us. Okay, so, so let that be a comfort to you. Because I'm under obedience not to say anything from the 1970s and stuff. Okay, but go ahead because I, I could use okay, one. I, I, I've had stressful times I'm here. just oh. telling you. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm just going to tell you that he's given me several words. And when he was giving me your words, I was smiling like, oh, this is awkward. So here it goes. Okay. And he starts it out as Patricia. He does start it out as Patricia. That's okay. He says, you have my heart. Oh, yes. You have my heart, (laughs) and I love you with all of mine. You are so special to me, and I long to be with you. You have brought me so much joy throughout your life on earth and it will continue in eternity. I have a kitchen for you, and we will dine together as one. You are so precious to me and my father. I love you, Pat. That is all, Yeshua. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yeah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I was just Amen. playing a love song to him from Johnny Mathis because cause, uh, I sing to him or I, uh, you know, or he... I have to tell you something really strange that happened. I was watching The Passion of the Christ, you know, and I didn't click anything. And all of a sudden, the Johnny Mathis song came on. And this is for everybody, my one and only love. That's what he was singing. And I said, what is this? I'm watching Jesus carrying his cross, and the song is coming on from Johnny Mathis. I didn't touch anything. And one time I was printing something, and, and the computer itself made caps of letters and underline stuff. There was some spiritual thing I was doing. So he... He has control of this thing, of this machine. <laughs> oh, amen. <laughs> amen. Yes. But that was last year. And I and I tell you, I said, what, what are you doing? You're singing me a love song during, and I'm watching your passion? <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. It was so, I mean, I, I couldn't have done that if I tried. You can't do that. You know? No. A song no, it's the Lord. And, it's the Lord. <laughs> it was the Lord. And it was for, it's for everybody. It was for everybody, you know. And whatever I have, I share loving. I have a lovely message from him, if you guys want me to read it. And it's for all of us, okay? And this is the one where he of said, course. sit down and write. And he made me. And remember, I said I couldn't find paper. He says, Pat. And it's like paper was right there. It wasn't the paper I wanted, but he didn't care. <laughs> the paper was there. My other paper was in the other in the living room. And it like, he says, Pat, like, just use the paper you have. You know, like, all right, all right, okay, I'm going, all right. <laughs> so here, but this is tender. He says, uh, Jesus, can you imagine my pain at seeing how the majority of mankind leaves me in the background of their lives? And can you imagine how consoling is the love I find uh, in souls, my children, my brothers, my brides, 
who pay me heed, who believe and tell me they love me from the center of their hearts. Can you imagine what this means to me to have your I love yous from all my chosen ones and from um, and from and from newer uh, souls learning to listen to my tender voice within their hearts. Um, oh, how I wait for souls in mercy. Never be afraid to turn to me. Even a sigh, I will respond. Trust your Savior. What a terrible price I suffered to redeem, to redeem all of you. Then can you imagine how sweet it is for you to tell me you love me and want to do my will, the Father's will on earth? You will find me waiting for you with open arms. I love you. Come, come, dear Jesus. So there you go. Amen. That's what he made me sit down. Because you know, cause I'll be praying, I'll look at him, and he'll say, right. <laughs> and it's like, like you say, if one says jump, you say how high. You know, it's like, okay. <laughs> it just, oh, he's, he's, he's something. <laughs> he's something, you know. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing. So, yeah, oh, oh, my joy. And I have more. If you do communion, I have a little reading. I'm going to keep reading on the Holy Spirit until he just plows right through the souls of everybody. <laughs> you know, and I have a little he and I. Right, but sounds, you know, I, no, I, have the people on, and then I, you can always come back I, to me, and I'll and I'll I'll give you some more lovely stuff. You know. Well, I got middle, middle of Miss Fancy Pants Judy on with us, but Luco just Hi, dropped, and he was oh. the one that was wanting to hear really badly. Yeah. Judy, yeah. are you there? It is not the time. <laughs> oh, it's Donna. It's Donna. Well, I just got a text from someone wanting a dollar. And I don't know who it is. Oh. You no, know, but Judy's doing it. Ju- no, Judy's doing it from the chat room. She said to everybody text Jason and tell him to send them a dollar. So I just got a text from somebody that says, send me one dollar. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Well, what are you going to do with the uh, dollar? Luke's in the <laughs> chat room. Luke, are you coming back on the show? Or are you are okay. you able to listen at least so Judy, so Donna can talk and share the secrets? <laughs> oh, it was Stacy. Stacy wants a dollar. Hey, Stacy. Stacy. Everybody send Stacy a dollar. Hey, Luco says he's listening. Okay. Oh, that's sweet of him. Now I'm going to save Stacy's number and text her at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, uh, now, the first, now that they're all texting you, you can post their numbers to the chat room, Jason. Have you thought of that? Um, yeah, it's something about privacy that I wouldn't do that for. I don't know. <laughs> it's something about that fear of the Lord striking me down. I don't know. Hey, I could post your phone number. That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, would, she would not like that. <laughs> yes. That might give me diarrhea, Jason. What's that? That might give me diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are a rock star, young lady. You are a rock star. Are you going to yeah, share your right. revelations with us, or are we just going to be talking about diapers and farts? <laughs> he calls you young lady when he forgets where he's at, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, go hit your head against the wall and come back, okay? <laughs> I already do that. I do that when I wake up. <laughs> I'm a big fan of... To stay rapture centric, guys. Seriously, as soon as you step out of bed, just take a dead sprint against the wall, head first, and you are going to believe the raptures today, every day. I promise you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God, it really let helps. Jesus me. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> let Jesus Christ give you a lobotomy. He gives them for free. <laughs> <laughs> a spiritual lobotomy. So, like, oh, no. how thrilling. So, so when I hear so when I hear somebody saying, Well, this happened on this date and this I saw this on the news and six plus four equals this and the so the rapture that's see that person didn't take my advice. They didn't bash their head against the wall that morning. They're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my gosh. Me and Jason, we had a long talk about <laughs> On Monday, it seems like 10 years ago, we had a long talk about faith. And Jason at the end of the conversation says, so let me get this straight. <laughs> I'm supposed to walk out of I'm supposed to walk out of bed head first. <laughs> Tell him, Jason. Head first. First, first thing. <laughs> hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> then say, "I love Jesus." Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's faith, guys. Try it. It's new. <laughs> if you need to help. Jesus give you a lobotomy to have faith. Um, go ahead and do what Jason does. Wake up first thing in the morning, <laughs> hit the wall <laughs> at ten miles an hour, and uh, and then you should believe the rapture is today. I mean, I don't know what else. <laughs> it's not easy, guys. It's not easy. Is is closing in on us, so There's not going to be anything left. <laughs> oh you, my! You see the condition, the, and Judy. Judy didn't do that this morning, so she wants to share some revelations with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Every now and then, God lets me think critically. Oh, thank you, Lord. It doesn't, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> well, lay it on us. We're all waiting. I don't even. All right. Sherry's not even on here, so I can't even ask her to like tell, tell us about stuff and then delay everything. You, you got everybody this waiting. Is a like, okay, I'm... Yeah. Oh, okay. If you want to bring Sherry on, I can give her a big happy day hug if you want. <laughs> You're... No, she already hung up. It's okay. Oh, oh, fine, Sherry. Go ahead and text Jason and say you need one fresh cow delivered delivered today. <laughs> She's from Kentucky. I can trust her with cattle. It's you from California, people. You guys don't know what to do. You'll name it. It'll be your best friend. You'll try to turn it into, like, some crazy friend of yours. It'll go to dinner parties with you. <laughs> he's a total, oh he's God, a total beak. And man, that's what I'm saying. We go freaking out in the chat room. <laughs> Should I prolong it? Luco, I'm stoned. Help me out here. Okay, let me get started. Okay. All right, so this is the rapture-centric church. Jesus is our pastor, and um, you being rapture-centric, you display a lot of strange behavior. Okay, that's our condition. That's why he put us all together. Okay, he expects us to believe things that make you look like a jackass in front of the functioning world. Do we, do we all agree on that? Yes. Can I hear an amen? Amen. <laughs> Jason must, must have gone to smoke a cigarette. Anywho. So, um, as such, here's the thing. We're free. This is a free place. This is a safe place. Can you hear me, Pat? Oh, yes, love. Go ahead. When, J- when Jason doesn't say hi, I get worried. Okay. He's probably having a cigarette. Yeah. Okay, um, this is a safe place to share all of your dates, okay? You're only going to get, like, in trouble if your date is super far away because it's not going to be right, all right? Mm -hmm. Because God says it's today. And that should be good enough for all of us. The last word that he gave little John was it went from probably today to the rapture is today, believe it. And if anyone remembers that original word we got three weeks ago, Jesus wants us to believe through his little prophet John, that the rapture is today, literally. And he said to little John, if you wake up here tomorrow, I want you to say and believe 100% that the rapture is today, literally. It's not some weird alien time or heaven time. or It's literally our time. Does everybody understand that? You got that, right, Pat? Oh, sure. Amen. Hey, Jason, okay. Oh, I get nervous back. when you're not around, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I got a little weird when you left, Jason. Yeah, you, we don't like you to leave us. Your voice is a consoling I, uh, reality stabilizer. <laughs> I drank too much Diet Pepsi. It's my own fault. Okay, Luco, so do you want to hear? I need to hear in the chat room. Does everybody want to hear my, my fresh revelation today? Okie dokie. 
I think they do. I don't know. Sure, he does. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Sure they do. <laughs> okay, I got enough yeses. I got enough yeses. Okay. So, um, here's the thing. So, today means today, literally. And I think I shared on the radio show when I was in the tubby time, tubby time, um, that the Lord let me think. He hasn't let me think, okay? Uh, this whole time he has not. He, he, You know, my lobotomy worked, and I believe by faith everything that Jesus tells me and his little prophet, John. And, um, you know, but what happened was he gave me, he let me think about what today meant when I was in the tub, I don't know, a week ago or so was that? Do you remember that, Jason? Yeah, that was, that was more than a week ago. It was probably a week and a half ago. No, everything so, blends. Okay, but anyway... He let me believe that today meant literally today, and he let me believe that today meant February, okay? But, so that's really cool, because we have like two days left of February. Now, he also let me believe today, brand new, fresh, hot off the press, Jason was on the phone with me when it all occurred, and he was in in little, little John, right, Jason, were you there? Yeah, I was right there in the middle of it. She cracked that (laughs) out of her mind. He was feeling absolutely nothing, so he was he was very suspicious. <laughs> I haven't felt the spirit for a few days, so I don't know if it's me or if it's him. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, um, so little John, anyway, God did a whole bunch of amazing things through an iPad. Anyway, you guys, I'm purchasing an iPad, and anyway, it's a really long story, but long story short, God allowed me, his jackass, to... Think, and he and he told me some stuff. So I'm going to share it with you because we're the rapture centric church, and everyone's free to share. Nobody ever better apologize for the things that God tells you. Don't ever apologize for the things that God tells you to share and proclaim. You don't owe an apology to anyone. And if it was something that you were thinking and it wasn't God, you can just say, "This is what God allowed me to think." So. I heard God telling me today, so not only did he allow me to think it, but he was actually talking to me as well, which is why I was getting so hammered when I was on the phone with Jason, and he was letting little John come and give words while we were talking. So there was a lot going on today in the spirit in our house. I didn't expect this. You guys, when when God told little John the raptures today, it's been pretty simple around our house. We watch Netflix, Netflix movies, we chill out, and we just wait for him to come because we know he's coming today okay but today was a different day i woke up and um <laughs> every now and then i'm looking at the chat room <laughs> hey judy Anywho. judy real quick yeah. can you tell us yeah. what you had for breakfast first <laughs> oh my goodness i didn't eat that's why this is all blasphemy <laughs> xo <laughs> uh-huh. Hey Jason, I'm thinking we should save yeah. this for tomorrow morning radio show. I mean, we're gonna go. We're go. Okay, today's the rapture, but if we wake up here tomorrow, why don't we share this in the morning show? Share both. Well, because you'd have to get up. You'd have to get up at some you'd have to get normal up. human being <laughs> hour. <laughs> An ungodly oh, hour. Goodness. Okay, you guys. I was just, just so you kidding. know, just so you know, Luke Luke has high expectations now. So I know. Just say I'm, sure. I'm, pe- I'm gonna sure. people please. I'm gonna people please. I'm gonna Luke please right now. <laughs> okay, so here's what God let me believe today, and He like sealed it with a kiss. So, um, you know, Dustin Wright. Um, yeah. God has said that that is His true prophet, and Dustin Wright is right. And God tested Dustin Wright as His true prophet by allowing him to appear wrong on many occasions, and as well as us, too, and almost everyone else that's part of this church. <laughs> it's like nothing new, right? Okay, so, but one of the things that God told little John and I when this thing started was, Dustin Wright is my true prophet. And so we always, we always take very seriously <clears throat> the word of the Lord, because we take seriously the word of the Lord through everybody, really. We do. People that we know and we love and we go ask God if they're right and God will say yes or no and are they true and God will tell us. But with Dustin Wright, 
he called him and set Dustin right as a 20-year-old prophet, and he rose him up for this season. And then he also rose up our 10-year-old little boy. And our little boy, God told him, you know, that Dustin Wright is right on numerous occasions. He said, Mom, I don't know why he's been wrong, but God said he's never been wrong and that he's always been right, and on and on it goes, okay? So there's an important thing here to learn because when a prophet, God uses prophets. And if you notice in the Old Testament, everyone hates prophets. <laughs> what are we doing now? Why are you laughing? Get to the point. You're killing everybody. You go oh, now under the old person. I just say it. <laughs> I love her for this. I think I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. No, you I don't. You. Stay on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat today. That's the problem. Okay, no. So here's the thing. Actually, I did. I had a bowl of chicken noodle soup. I made it last night in my oh, crock pot. Oh, I love pot. that. I have that all the time. I know. I made it in my crock pot, and I woke up, and it was ready. So I had it for breakfast Super. with melted Gouda cheese all over it. That was the revelation, guys. Gouda cheese in your chicken soup. <laughs> hey, that's good. Oh, my gosh. Unsub. Bell's are telling everyone unsub. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, unsub to Jesus Christ if you want. Dude, you better spill it. Okay, here's the thing. So this was really cool. Here's the revelation, Carol, because I love you. And Carol's been like from the from the start. She's been like amazing. Okay, here it is. Bottom line. Um, God spoke through Dustin Wright that we are actually in the tribulation. So um, the great tribulation is. He he says to Destin that the Great Tribulation is March 22nd. That's the start of it. So that means we're already in the trib, which would make sense because we've had so many cow. You know, cow, what am I saying, cow? I'm thinking of Jason again. We've animal had die-offs. Of, yeah, animal die-offs. Anyway, here's the bottom line. I, here's what God led me to believe today. That the what he's led me to believe about the translation event with the rapture-centric church is that we get translated one week before the worldwide rapture. Now, rapture-centric church... Go ahead and ask God about that. Go ahead yourself, because I would love to hear what he's telling you. He's allowed our family and about four other people to believe that there's a week, okay, between the the translation, the elopture of this church and then the worldwide rapture gathering. So I'd like everyone to go ahead and do some dates right now. I'd like you to look at your calendar. I actually looked at my calendar, and I didn't even buy it. My sister bought me a calendar because she knew I had nothing to do with calendars, and so since she bought it for me, I went ahead and looked at it today, and I was like, whoa, this is cool, because I'm good enough with today. Like, he's coming today. That's good enough. But God let me think a little bit more about today. And here's what he let me think. Well, if the Great Tribulation starts on March 22nd, and the rapture has to occur before that, because that's God's wrath, okay, being poured out, well, then... If the translation occurs a week before that, we're getting translated real soon, guys. Yeah. Are you guys doing the math and getting out your calendars? I don't do math. Oh. No? Me and Pat don't do math. We leave, we leave that to <laughs> you nerds. Okay, so this is not in conflict with our last word. The rapture is today. That's what God told little John. He said... Uh, and then God told my son, he said this morning, he said, I'm I'm allowing your mom. He goes, I'm, Nate, John, come here. Come tell him what he told you. He said, I'm letting your mom, I'm letting you believe. He said, I'm letting you believe it's today. But he he said, said, I'm letting you believe the rapture is today, and I'm letting your mom believe, what did he say? That it's before March 2nd. And you, you were talking about that. Wow. Yeah. And he, and so it's interesting, but yeah, Tashawn did the math in the chat room. He's right. March 15th has got to be the maximum day. You know, if, if the great trip starts March 22nd, we have got to be gone max by March 15th. But God's allowing me to believe that it'll be before even that. He's allowing me to believe today that we will be elopsured by March second before um, because I had a dream you guys I, I don't get dreams often but I did have a dream that that right when I woke up the dreams in, in the dream 
I was told the rapture is in 12 days. And, of course, that means elopture because he's talking to me and we know that we're getting, you know, ra- um, translated. So when and I then I, that, got, I got a week in my dream last night, whatever that means. Wow, that would line right up with all of this, Katie. Katie, if you got well, a week, that only, lines right up. See, that's interesting, Katie. Not only that, what, but go ahead. So go ahead. Not only that, but John's 100th day is Friday, and Judy turns has a birthday on Friday, and you were told that you wouldn't live be past, you wouldn't see your next birthday or whatever it is. What God uh, allowed me to believe since I first got saved, you guys, there was something really special about 45, and it's really bizarre because he let me remember that that I always knew that I wouldn't be here when I was 45. Now, I might be here for a day or two of 45, but I just know that I'm not going to be on this earth. I'm, I, will, I will be in – God let me know that I would be in heaven when I was 45. You guys, when I first got saved, it's so amazing. Like, I've known that, like, my whole Christian walk, and God reminded me of that recently. Um, and so it's exciting because here's the thing. Again, my birthday, I turned 45 on February 28th. God told my son uh, a few weeks ago, he said, Mom, God just told me that that um, if you turn 45 here, you're going to leave 44 behind, which means 44 means pandemonium. That's chaos. That would be what the, what, what the world is in once we leave. And he said, and then you'll be 45 in heaven. So what that was saying... Well, that was meaning that you could turn 45, but... You're not going to have another birthday. You're going to be 45. Right. You're yeah. Be taken. He, meaning you're not having another birthday here. Like, you're going to be 45 when you get taken. So that's that's what he's, that's what his word no, was to you me. you don't have to get eaten. Yeah. He said, I might not have my birthday here, but even if I did, I would be 45 in heaven, but I would not be here when I'm 46. But anyway, the whole point of what I'm saying is this, you guys. We are right at the door. I mean, it is today, literally, but God will it, – it, do not be discouraged if we go into a little bit of March. But I will tell you right now, God is really letting me believe and wanting me to tell the rapture-centric church. Everyone else can think we're crazy. Who cares? God, has, God put us all together for a reason. So yeah. I'm not joking right now. I'm like, really, I hope, you know, this is real stuff. Because, you know, when God started giving us all jackass crowns, I was like, God, it's like you're playing a joke on us. And he said, no, I do not joke. I, this is not a cruel thing. I love you. Like, he really talked to me about that. He goes, I don't. I don't play jokes. I don't do things like that to hurt people. Like, he was letting us, me really know that this is him. That this is the way he's working in this situation. And it kind of looks like it, but he says I'm not. Like, I am taking you. I am. You know, and he gave us explanations all along the way that, you know, he's separating the wheat from the tares. He told me he was doing another division in his church. So another division is coming. And we already saw that with the jam heating video. Another division more offense, people getting offended by the way God works. People are being offended left and right. And, you know, I've been offended. Jason's been offended. We've all been offended when God says something and then it doesn't happen. And we're like, God, you lied to me. So we have to decide, are we going to accuse God or are we going to say, God, I don't understand your ways, but I trust you and I know what, I know it's you. And, and when you get like that, he gets real soft and cuddly with you. When you mm. when you tell God stuff like that, he, he's real sweet. What he told me was, he said, I really appreciate, you know, he was super sweet to me. And he said, I really appreciate that you you believe everything I'm telling you and you'll be rewarded for that. And but he said, but I am coming. This, none of this is a joke. You know, I am coming to get you. And one of these todays will be the day. So I'm just, I just have some good news, you guys. Like today's just a really excellent day because um, Tressie Tressmark, he has to move out by Friday of his house. And God keeps bringing Tressie to my mind. He lives in Norway. He's the guy with the two birds in the chat room, and he's just awesome. And uh, God keeps bringing Tressie to my mind. Like, God is really thinking about Tressie. Like, Tressie does not have a place to live on Friday. He he, he can find a place, but he has two birds that he can't get rid of, you know. So Mm -hmm. God's thinking about all of our situations, you guys. He's coming to get us, and he's really letting me believe that we won't be, like, the February was a, is a surprise. And I really believe this, the February surprise is that we get translated. I believe we're getting translated today or mm. before Friday, or Friday is the latest. But if we're still here, mm. let's say we wake up here on Saturday, 
believe it, you guys. There's not more than, we're not going past the 15th. That's what he let me believe today. And I'm like, wow. And he kind of put it all together, and he sealed it with a kiss with little John. Jason was on the Aww. phone. He was saying, today really means literally today, but today, and today means February. Yeah, and and like little John says, Mom, if we're here in March, it's still February. Because it's true that the calendar, you know, if you want to use the, the Julian calendar, it's 13 days behind. So it really would be February in Mar- up to March 13th. But I don't really need to, like, I don't need that to happen for, for me to believe what God tells me. And, and I know you don't either because everyone that's a part of this church is following God. And God allows us to go to these places in our thinking. He actually allows it. He, he loves us. He's not trying to make things complicated and difficult, but he is... In this whole process, I think we've all seen that love Jesus, that he is definitely sifting. He's, he's calling out people to believe like a child, and he, he's getting a bride that loves him and loves each other. And, and, and see, he, he, he's doing a purifying work through all of these dates. Jason, when you were offended, are you stronger in your faith now? I am. And that's what's so cool is that it's taken me leaps and bounds from even where I thought I was. And I, I feel the strength of Christ. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to tell everybody, not only has the Lord taken me away from reading the Bible, I can't even pray right now because my faith is that strong. Because any time I go to pray, mm-hmm. it's not from the heart and it's just words. And I already trust mm-hmm. in the Lord that he's going to take and look after the people that I love and care for. And so it's not even natural. It's, it's a weird place to be, guys. It really is. It's a place of faith because you know who's in charge, so you have no needs. You've gotten to a place, Jason, where, you know, I haven't haven't prayed for our family's needs for years. Once God told me to laugh five years ago, I don't sit here and pray for stuff because I know God's in charge. And I don't take things so seriously because, you know, but so you just have to come to that place in your faith. And, Jason, you know, your faith, you're allowed God to expand you, and, and he will. When you allow God to speak to you and you allow God to do the way work the way he wants to work and it doesn't make sense in your mind and instead of just being offended you say god that's offend- offended me but i trust in your ways and you get right with god and you stay right close on track with him you're going to be blessed well here you are really here's blessed. here's here's an amazing lesson that i had today um and the lord has been telling me it told me last night i was like lord why don't you give me words for stuff like that and he's like well i would if you'd sit down and listen And uh, so today, you know, today I made it a point after the show um, to sit down and just see if he would give me a word. And he gave me three. He gave me one for me, one for Luke, and one for Pat. Um, And so, if you guys, if you're looking for a word, let me know because the Lord seems to be giving to me about whoever I ask for. And if you need one, I know it's because you need it from the heart. Uh, But he gave me the words, you know, for each one. And I prayed over him and he told me, and I I was like, you know, Lord, are you sure this is you? And he said, I mean, Absolutely, yes, whatever. So I go to call Pat to give her her word because I was really excited. And I was like, Lord, is she going to answer the phone? And he said, yes. And then she didn't. And I was like, Lord, that's weird. Why would you have told me that she was going to answer the phone um, when uh, – and she didn't. You know, I was like, that's really weird. And he was like – and it was a loud, commanding voice in my head, and it said, uh, Jason, you've gone too far. Uh, throw these – tear this up and throw this away and angry and i was like what and i got this eerie feeling and i was like okay um i re- and I, guys i don't do this and i i rebuked any and all demons from around me in my home and all that stuff just real quick you know um and i was and then i asked the lord again i was like lord is that you and he said no and he goes it was and he goes it was a, that was a demon he goes now you know my voice clearly don't you and I was like, yeah. And so I was like, Lord, why did you let a demon talk to me that way? And he goes, you let him in. Believe in me and trust in me. And it was really cool. I know it's kind of like a spooky feeling experience, but I took it as so such an amazing experience that the Lord wow. said, don't basically telling me, don't doubt me when I'm talking. You know, he wasn't he wasn't being mean. He was just he taught me, and I and I I don't doubt. But when you give words to other people, you're responsible. Um, and so not only did I get some words, but it was just boom. And it, B- Bell said it was a it was a cow demon. I'm supposed to move on. I hate you, Bell. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I love you, brother. But 
it was really neat for the Lord to let me have a demon come at me that way, immediately recognize it and rebuke it, which I don't do. I'm not afraid of that stuff. I think it's a joke. Uh, to me, at this point in my faith, I know who the boss is, and I know whose blood's covering me. Uh, but he did allow it to happen, so I would learn something, which I thought was so cool. Um, so, yeah, I do know when I'm listening to the Lord, um, and so should you. Trust in him. That's, that's the faith he wants. It's about your faith. You believe, you know, Christine, I think, said it. Who was it that said it the other day? Um, if you ask the Lord something, you have to have the faith <laughs> that he's going to answer you. Well, yeah, and, and another thing, Christine said that her husband says he doesn't get those, and she said she was going to pass it on. Well, Aaron, if you're listening, brother, sit down with a pen and paper and listen for a few minutes. I guarantee he's going to have you start writing right away. But uh, that was the end of my rant. Wow. That was a good rant. Um, I just wanted to say a couple things if I could, and then I'll probably get off and listen to all the beautiful Brighty. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, wow. All right. I just want to say a couple things. First of all, I really want to encourage everybody who's a part of the rapture-centric church, okay? God is coming to take you. Um, and I would really leave some notes around your house. I, I just really want to encourage you to do that. Just say, hey, look, if I've disappeared, that means the worldwide rapture is, is, is occurring soon. Like, I, I have enough confidence to say it's a week later because God has really given me that revelation there's going to be a week in between, so I'm going to say that in my letter. But, you know, I, don't worry. God's coming for you. He just wanted to elope with me because um, I've been waiting for him so so excitedly. He couldn't withhold his love from me because I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to see him. So he took me early. But the worldwide rapture will be, in, you know, shortly. It'll, it'll be coming here soon, with probably within seven days. And you can tell the person, say, God wants you to go. He wants you to be at the wedding. He is not looking for reasons to exclude you. So whoever the note you're leaving behind, just to, I'm making mine to anyone. Cause I don't even know who's going to come looking at my house, but I'm just going to leave a note to anyone. And I'm going to say, he wants you at this wedding. So all you have to do is just get right with him, and I'll, I'll tell them how. You know, everyone knows. Ask him into your heart. Receive his love. Ask him to forgive you for your sins and say, you really want to go to the wedding, and can you make my heart right? And can you make my heart love you? And he will, and he'll do that in five seconds, and then you'll be part of the wedding. Um, and God is going to be really excited. And I kind of feel really strongly that the reason why he's going to translate some of us before the wedding is to continue to get the bride ready. See, you guys, we've really cooperated with God, and so he's pleased with us, so we're getting rewarded for that. Most of us have done foolish things like give away cars and quit jobs, and but at his leading, of course. Don't just go and do it if he doesn't lead you, okay? Jason made a good point. Don't get rid of your Xbox because somebody else did. Don't quit your job because somebody else did. Don't stop anything. Don't try to be like us, okay? Don't try to be like anyone, but listen, with your following and God's leading radically, he's going to have you do some stuff, okay? And God's very pleased with the with the rapture-centric church's faith. And he's very pleased. That's why he gave us a clap from his pulpit, him and the angels, and that's why he farted. And what he did with the fart was he used the fart to cause people to see a lot. Those farts were really important. They weren't just him being funny, and they are, because he loves us and he has a good sense of humor. But it's also to confound the religious spirit. And God does not want a religious spirit in his bride. He's not going to be having you sit across the wedding table from a person that has a religious spirit and was mad at you. You guys understand that? Am I, am I making myself clear, Jason? Yes, ma'am. So, anyway, he wants to rid his people of that. So people that have a religious spirit, they think that I'm a witch. You know, a perfect example is the Stan Heating Channel. I love Brother Todd and Jamie. I, I made that video in love because I I want I wanted them to see that we are both believers serving the same God. It's just that my God has brought me to a different faith level than they are at. But I don't want to see them lose their crown because God already told me if there's any religious spirit in judgment in their bride, they're losing their crown. So... And they're not going in the rapture. He straight up told little John that. Unless they repent, 
uh, Jamie and Todd, they're they're getting left behind. And God cried when he told that to little Joss. He was, God saw him crying. So the purpose of the translation is just because God loves us and can't wait to see us. Just understand that. He can no longer not be face-to-face with us. That's why he's going to elope with us. But there's also <laughs> another purpose in it. He's going to get people. He's getting his bride ready. They have a whole week to see that this church is gone because they're following us. They're listening to our radio shows, you guys. We have over like three... I think it's probably 3,000, but last I looked, it was 2,427 listeners. Wow. They're they're listening, okay? And it's probably way more than that, because that's just for the per- people that log in. What about the people that are in the house listening? Okay, so they're, they're going to see that when there's no two radio shows a day, um, <clears throat> that these guys are gone. Oh, my gosh, these guys are gone. Where's their, where's their, there's been no videos on their channel. There's no radio show. What's going on? Because see, we're going to disappear, and that will give time for people like Brother Jamie and Brother Todd who've had judgment in their heart to go, whoa, I, forgive me, God. I, 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 I was criticizing you when I criticized little John and Judy and, and all these people. I was criticizing you because, see, God told little John, they didn't come against you, they came against me, and they're going to lose their crowns for that unless they repent. And that's why God is sad. See, so when God translates the rapture-centric church, the other brides are going to see that. And if there's any judgment and religious spirit and anyone's hating on another person, they're going to have time to repent. Now, isn't that sweet of God to do that, you guys? Is it just me or is that just the sweetest thing ever? Aww. Yeah. It's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, you guys, that's our Lord. He, he wants Jamie and Todd to go, but they, they've sort of, they, they have, uh, they have lost their way. <clears throat> and I'm telling you this confidently and I'm saying it in love. They're not going until they repent. God told little John they have to take down the videos and give a public apology in order to make it. And so they may do that. I hope they're listening now. But when they see us disappear, I hope that the healthy fear of the Lord gets in there and delivers them. Because, see, when they were coming against us, they were coming against Jesus Christ when they came against the rapture-centric church and all the followers. See, when he was making his video, he's telling people in the comment section of his video, which he's now disabled, but he told people in the comments section that all of our followers are following the devil. And nobody's following me. No one's following John and Judy. We're all following Jesus Christ. We're the rapture-centric church following Jesus Christ. He's our pastor, but he put us together, and he had to put a couple leaders at the front. So, you know, God told me this whole church, everyone listening and everyone in the chat room, you're leaders in God's church. But he had to keep the order. So he uses it, you know, Jason is the bouncer, and he uses my little son John as the prophet, and, and big 20-year-old Dustin is the big prophet. And, you know, but we have, you know, he, just, he needed seven people to keep the order, you know, to start the show and the show. But Jesus runs this show. Jesus runs the show through sin answering calls, through the callers calling in. We're all one church, and we're all excited to see God together. But, see, when he elopes with us, there will be no more radio show. And so, you guys, we will not cancel any shows until he gets here. God told me not to do that because he said it will be a marker for the other brides to see that we're gone. Do you realize how special we are, you guys? Do you realize that? Amen. Amen. <laughs> I mean, and God told us we're that special. He told me my favor is on you because you believe me and you detached. Everyone that's following this church, following Jesus in the rapture-centric church, they detached. And there's a great reward for that. Some people just weren't up for it. People like Todd and Jamie, they just couldn't do it. There's people that just can't detach or they think they can. But if you're not detached, if you have any judgment toward a brother or sister, if you you say you hate Katy Perry, if you say you hate Jay-Z, you have not detached. You do not have the love of the Father in you. You cannot hate people. You have to only hate the devil and his demons. You can't call... Like Brother Todd called me a witch. He said, I love Judy. I love her family. I love her. I'm making this video in love. But at the end of the video, he called me a witch. He's confused because you can't say you love me and call me a witch. Yes or no? Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Yeah. What if I were to tell you, Pat, I love you so much, but you're a deceived witch? Do I love you if I say that? I would be so, I would would be hurt because I'm very true with Jesus. I'm totally up front with him and totally honest. Yeah, brother Todd does not love me. He does not. Brother Todd does not love me, and he doesn't love the rapture centric church because he said all the followers are deceived. Now, because of that, he loses his. Because of that, he loses his rapture status. But when we disappear, he has time to repent because he really thinks he's right, and 
he, that's why I made that video to him because I want him to see, don't do this. Don't fight people. You fight the devil and the demons, guys. We don't go against our brothers and sisters. If they're doing something wrong, pray for them. You know, and that's how it works, okay? So he doesn't believe that my son's a prophet. He doesn't believe that God landed on him to announce the coming of the Lord to the bride. If you don't believe that, then, you know, that's your prophet, but you don't criticize it. I mean, I didn't ask for this to happen. I would have loved to just keep teaching yeah. and gotten ready. I would have loved to have gotten raptured at work because it would have just kept things simple. Now, I'm really glad God did this. He took me really deeper in my faith, and, and I'm really blessed because now we have this church. But I would never, ever apologize for anything. And I, I'm blessed. I feel honored that God wanted to do this with us. So we all get to get translated together. Please write your letters today. Ask God to, you know, lead your hand as you leave, leave these letters behind because I'm going to encourage people with my letter. I'm actually going to make a video saying if you don't hear a radio show for one day, that means we're gone. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to say if you follow this channel or you're following my channel to troll me, you still have time right now to repent because we're, we're gone. We've disappeared. We've been translated. And the rapture's in seven days. Okay, that's what I believe. If God's told you it's two days later, that's fine. He's really kind of confirmed it over and over that it's about a seven-day lap between the elopesure and the worldwide rapture. So continue to ask God. Continue to believe. And I'm, I'm, I'm writing my letters. I'm going to make a video about it. I don't know when, but soon enough. And the rapture really is today. I believe it with my whole heart. Um, God's also letting me believe that today means February and that today could go into March, but I but still, it's still today. So I hope I'm not bringing confusion when I say that. It's like we are at the door, and God's not messing around, you guys. He's not messing around. He didn't have all these people quit their jobs. He didn't have me do what I'm doing to leave me hanging. He is coming to get us. He's coming to get us, and that's exciting. And um, it's easy for me to be in this position and to tell you this because I live with little John. I live with my boy who's never been the same, okay? I get to live with a little boy who's 10 who God speaks through all day long, and that's why I make videos because I want to encourage people. I really want to, like, lift you up and build you up because I want you to know that this stuff's real, you know, and, and it's been a real pleasure and a blessing. And pretty soon, you know, <clears throat> this whole church, <clears throat> we get to go together. I mean, is this exciting or what? I'm so excited right now. Yeah, amen. Amen. Amen, Judy. Amen. <laughs> you know what? I don't usually call this show, so you know, give me a break, Jason. <laughs> well, I just I just typed in chat. I said I really wish Judy would break out of her shell and really open up and talk for a while. You know, I just read it. Okay. No. <laughs> <There> you, <go. laughs> well, you know the funny thing. There's a wonderful guys, deal. <laughs> She's, you can. You can have a recap video of all that in a video, I'm sure. Yeah, I right? will make a video. So, Jason, you're telling me to shut up and make a video and let other people talk? Is that what you're saying, sweetie? we got 41 <laughs> minutes in the show. We're, we, guys, today we are going to go into our podcast for 15 minutes uh, okay. because the show got messed up in the beginning, and I want two hours with my people. Uh, the other thing <laughs> I want to do a quick announcement on, the other th- hey, he laughs a lot. Hold on. The other thing I want to say is tomorrow <laughs> night we're going to be doing the telephone deal again, so we're going to prophesy over each other. Um, so make sure you jump in. I don't want to be prophesied over, um, and several other people that have. I'd rather it be some of the people that 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 really either one are really struggling right now and need a boost, uh, or people right. that haven't had it yet. Um, but leave me out too, uh, <laughs> Pat. I'm going to give Pat no, no, words. No, I'm going to see if I can get a word, a word from the Lord from Pat every day. Um, but, you know, you know, Luke was really touched today. He was really blessed by the word, uh, and, yeah. and I'm happy for it. Uh, yeah. I was really touched when he would given me a word, and it just brings such a blessing. I'm sure Pat was touched as well. Oh, I mean, very touched. I and, really and, needed and, that. I won't go into it, but I really needed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I you that. know, we, we, we all have our lives outside of here, and, and yeah. we need this stuff, and, um, yeah. You know, and so tomorrow night we're going to do it the whole show. Uh, but for now, I've got to get back over to uh, bringing some other people on. Actually, let's do communion real quick while we've got everybody okay. here. Uh, okay. We can get it. <clears throat> and Pat's got something for us to read. 
uh, yeah, I'll read on the Holy Spirit. So. It'll warm you. Hey, man, Pat's been reading from this Holy Spirit book, and it's really, really good stuff. Can't so stress enough. Hey, yeah. Amen. Well, let's get started here, guys. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11.23, the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Let us eat together. The cup of the new covenant is Jesus Christ's blood shed for you. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Let us drink together. On with you, Pat. Okay. My child, no one else can explain, teach, or give to you my gift of knowledge, understanding, counsel, wisdom, fortitude, piety, and fear of the Lord. I alone can sanctify you and make you worthy to enter heaven. When you accept these gifts, I will reward you with peace, happiness, and joy in this life, as well as the next. Give me a chance. Have faith in me. Ask me your questions. Many of these questions I have put into your thoughts as a way of of leading you. Keep pondering these questions until I give you the answer. Prove to me your faith. Do not give up. Ask for my gift of fortitude, but never give up. Your time has not come to know the answer to some of these questions. I want you to prove your faith to me. You want to know how to recognize the Holy Spirit when I talk to you? I am the only one who can answer this question. Never stop listening for my answer. There you go. Amen. Yeah. I want you to prove your faith to me. That was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, he's after us. He's determined to make sure we pay attention and ask him and love him and... Invite him and uh, have a sense that you've got to have the Holy Spirit. You've got to. You ain't going to make Amen. it. <laughs> you know? Well, Pat, when we and come back, I think you're going to read a little something from he. Yeah. He and I? Oh, want yeah, I want to come back to you so we, when you read oh, yeah. he and I. But I want to get some other oh, people. Yes, There's definitely. some people that have been waiting for a little while. So That's I've a, got no, go, go, go get them. Amen. Amen. 413, are you there with us? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you Hi. loud and clear. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. How are you doing tonight, young lady? Well, you know, old man. <laughs> I have to tell you, I did the standard. Oh, my God, they got it translated. <laughs> I did. And then I went, I said, well, let me go to the Word, and I got, I went to Psalms, and Psalms, we've escaped like a bird in a cage, and I was like, oh, snap, <laughs> you know, and, but I was like, I had already called a date myself, you know, I had set me a date, I was, you know, I was like, this week, definitely not a Saturday, I don't, don't got to pay the rent, so I was like, Oh my God! I set a date and it passed me by. <laughs> oh my God! I to and I was like, <laughs> I was like, am I the idiot or what? You know, shoot. So I, um, <laughs> I uh, something in my heart said, Why don't you just come to me? Come to me? Come to me? And just ask me. But I was too to do that. And then finally, it was like. Why don't you just try all the ordinary stuff and just, you know, call them back? <laughs> and of course, I did call you back, and the show was on, and we are still here. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, not amen, because I would love it if we were all gone. Okay, don't get me wrong. To hear Judy's word this evening. And I was blessed to hear all of the word and to sit with you guys one more time. I don't know if we're going to sit together again. So I blessed and and I passed that blessing right straight on. Amen. That's a good blessing. <laughs> this lady's so wonderful. Yeah. Doesn't her laugh yeah. make you smile? Love her. Love her, love her. 
she has that. I love, love you back, so there. <laughs> oh, we love you so much, sweetie. We love everybody. There, there. There's everybody. a rule on this show. There's a rule on this show. It's everybody love everybody. So yes, looks like sir. we're following the rule. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Let's do this. Let's do this, Church of Philadelphia. We love everybody. Yes. Amen. We Don't got, I think, love. Stacy with us here. Is this you, Stacy? Nine one four. She's going to come on and say, I'm muting myself. I'm just listening. Hey, just drop your phone. Jason, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, it's Joe. Yes. I'm actually going through airport security. So give me five minutes and I'll, I'll talk then. Sounds, are you 914, brother? Yeah, yep. Oh, gotcha. I thought that was Stacy. All right, brother. Yeah, I'm literally. Okay, JoJo's in the airport going through security. Is this the time we should all yell that he has a bunch of drugs on him? Maybe they'll pick up on him through his <laughs> mic or something. <laughs> see if we can get him locked up there in the airport. Yeah, that'd be mean. Uh, i got to bring a couple, let's see, 626. Hello, 626. Hello. Hi. It's Hi. me. How are you guys? How are you? Uh, good, Leah. How are I'm you? <laughs> Hey, you I am. Blessed me, uh, yeah. blessed me last night. You said the chat deal said the Lord told you that He loved me, and I needed that, and I'm grateful. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, well, we always love you, Jason. But hey, that was necessary, I guess. Amen. That's cool. oh. All right. Well, I'm just like happy and and hanging out and having fun listening to you guys. You're so okay. goofy. It's so much fun. <laughs> It really is. Sometimes I get to laugh and on the phone with Judy and stuff that I just have to walk away for a couple of minutes because I can't stop coughing from laughing. You know, that cough laugh. Oh, I know. <laughs> Me too. That's when you know you've had a good laugh is when you can't mm-hmm. stop coughing. Right. <laughs> yes. But, all right, Leah's going to stay with us. I'm going to get to some other people here. Leah, I'm going to keep you off mute, so chime in whenever you like. This is... 614, hello, 614. Hi, Jason, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, young lady. Uh, This is Chris from Ohio. How are you doing tonight? Hi, sweetie. Good, Chris, how are you? I'm good. Hey, all right, I got a couple comments. Um, I was just really hoping that Judy would have, like, a neighbor or stranger post a video to verify her translation because, like, I've been freaked out and I tell my, you know, somebody, oh, no, it's been translated. And they're like, oh, no, the the radio show just doesn't work. Oh, we don't believe it. <laughs> and they were right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you don't post something to verify it, then they'll just say, oh, no, the radio show broke. But anyway, just a comment. Um, if you do this tomorrow night or whatever, I'd like a word um, whenever it's good for you. Um, I, my current update on my vision is that, like, Jesus, a couple days ago, was rolling out the red carpet all the way up to his throne, and, um, I now have a vision that, that God is, like, on a parade, um, followed by many instruments and bands and choirs and all that, to his throne, and then... You know, I, I get this idea that as soon as he sits down on it is when, you know, something big will happen, like a flea rapture. So I just get the impression that it's just getting closer and closer. Um, hey, two other comments. Hey, I want to hear what Katie's dream was that had a week in it, and Judy mentioned her dream of 12 days. And I was just wondering when those days started. So I'm done. Thanks. The day, well, Judy's, well, Judy's actually just called back in. Well, Katie fell out. Um, okay. But, Judy, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Yeah, Judy, did you hear, did you hear uh, is that you, Katie? Yep. Katie, are you with her? I don't think so. I don't think Katie's here. Um, Oh, it sounded like her in the background somewhere. Okay, yeah, you heard the question from Chris about the 12 days. And if you do know, 
what's Katie's dream? Please do share. Yes, Katie's dream was basically saying that God would be here before and she had that dream. Okay, you guys hear that? Before I don't think we can hear you. Can you hear me, Jason? I can hear you now. There's just some garbled gunk going on with the... So, yeah, say something. Me, okay, yeah, go ahead. Anyway, yeah. Katie will, Katie will share, but basically her dream she had, he's coming in seven days, and she had a dream yesterday or last night or something. So that's all in line with this time frame before the 15th, you know, of March. But anyway, I just wanted to say really quick, you guys, just know that we, if you do not have, if there is not a radio show, that you probably can really assume that the translation took place because well, I will make a video every time. If there's been a mistake, I will make a video right away. Because I already made a video for tonight's show, but then I canceled it because Jason said, oh, no, we got it up and ready. And I'm like, okay, I already made a video explaining to people that there were technical difficulties, but you can be safe to assume that the translation occurred if there's no radio show because that's why God told me to do it twice a day. He told me today that people would know that this church is gone. This particular church will be gone when you don't hear a radio show. And, um, and if there's no video from the Rapture Kitty saying what's going on, then you can assume that the translation occurred. But I'm talking to not, I'm really not talking to this church when I'm saying that because everyone a part of this church that Jesus Christ has built up, they are getting translated. You are going in the elopesure. Unless you don't want to get eloped with, then you'll just go in the worldwide rapture, you know. But I'm just letting you know that I just want you to know on our end, if there's a technical problem, I'll make a video. Because I'm really serious about this. This is really serious. Like, I'm leaving my letters today, and I'll be making a video at some point to explain that. Because a lot of people are listening and watching us, even though they're criticizing us. Because they, they have a feeling this is right. Because the Lord won't let them not think about it. They won't. They they know that we're a crazy bunch of people, but they know that we're right. Deep inside, the spirit is telling them these people are right. You know what I'm saying, guys? Amen. 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 And you guys, I've posted my number up there. If you freak out and you take care of everything's happening, give me a call. Shoot me a text, whatever. Yeah. Hey, Jason, so, I had already made a video. Jason, I had already made a video explaining we were having technical difficulties, and then you called me and said, oh, it's working, and then I canceled the video. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, where did you post your number? Yeah, that, those... What's that? I said, where did you post your number? I'll just tell you right now. It's 316-833-5555. I feel much better being You guys can all call her. Yeah, absolutely. No, we call and text each other and FaceTime each other all day long, so it's awesome. Sometimes you just need that extra fellowship that you didn't, if you didn't get it in the show or whatnot. And Judy's phone number is 1-800-I'm-a-Dirty-Center. Hey, Jason, tell Chris that she doesn't need to worry because she's being translated with us. Oh, I know Chris is getting translated with us. I can feel it. I can just when she speaks, I can feel her spirit. Okay. Are you thanks. guys hearing me? Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. hearing you great. Okay, I keep hearing this reverb. Yeah. But all right, guys, stay with me here. I got some people that know. Actually, I'm going to check back with uh, her friend. What was his phone number? Did we lose him? What was his? I think this is him. 914? Hey, Jason, you there? Yeah, brother. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, Did you get through security okay? Despite your best efforts, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They, they, it's funny. They're like, uh, how can you have a Bible in your bag? Are you afraid of flying? I was like, no. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Just not a heathen. Hmm. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, my bad, you know. I got a laptop, too. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> we'll see. So, yeah, how I'm you been, again. brother? I haven't got to hear from you for a while. Oh, it, it's been too long. I've been listening every night, just, uh, 
you know, me, a little fly in the wall kind of guy, but definitely just getting, loving my family so much. You guys bring such joy, honestly, all of you. It's uh, just beautiful. I'm so excited. Great. So thank you to everybody. Thank you. The fellowship is great. We really need it. Thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I have high hopes for this trip uh, coming up. Didn't think I could be making this flight. You know, I definitely earned my jackass crown a week and a half ago or so, proudly. Definitely proudly. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> just waiting, to be honest with you. <laughs> Did you mute me? Hello? Well, we're here. Here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know where Jason is. I made him pass that. How are you doing, Judy? I guess it helps if you unmute your microphone, huh? Nobody can really hear you when you mute it. Oh, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, no, I can hear you the whole time. I had muted my mic so nobody was hearing me. Oh, uh, I just pulled my headphones off, and now I can hear a lot better. Sorry about that, everybody. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was, again, just listening in, didn't, you know, I always, always like to, you know, talk and say hello. I didn't have much to share, but definitely that was hysterical going through security before. I think the guy heard you through my headphones. <laughs> I had him over oh. my neck. <laughs> like, Thanks. Good thing I didn't bring anything, huh? <laughs> I'm glad I smoked it on the way here. <sighs> You're right, exactly. Got that out of the way in a car ride down. No, but seriously, it was, uh, it was pretty funny when they, they were asking me about the Bible. They asked if I was afraid of flying. I was like, no, I love flying. I, I love reading the Bible while I'm flying. And they kind of looked at me like, all right. <laughs> I thought they were going to strip search me after that for sure, but they let me through. <laughs> hey, brother. Brother, uh, one of our listeners named Stacy, she's been a long time listener. She's a sweet, real sweet gal. She wants to know if you're at JFK Airport because she's heard your phone number. She's out there in New York, so she recognized your area code. Oh, right on. Now I'm actually at Westchester Airport, no. which is uh, small, just north of the city, the county uh, north of JFK is in. So, uh, no, not tonight, thankfully. It's a very small is your shoulder <laughs> Is your shoulder getting healed up? It's It's feeling great. I really, you know, every time it hurts. I pray my brothers and sisters help. I, you know, I can feel. I was on the phone with someone last night, and he sent some positive vibes, and it was just, oh, you know, the Lord works. Just You ask, and he gives. It's, and he really has been taking care of me with the pain. He really has. It's, it's great. <laughs> Definitely great. <laughs> Truly blessed. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord loves you, brother. Uh, I feel it. I feel it. And I feel it with all this family, too. You know, just, you know, again, I'm, I listen most every night on my laptop. Uh, you know, I'm just doing other things, but it's just, it's, it's so uplifting. You know, the fellowship is so important. And mm-hmm. oh, yeah. I just can't say enough about it. You know, everyone's words and just, just the love, you know, amongst us all is like nothing right. I've ever the experienced. The you know, in my, my 37 or 38 years, however you want to be with um, it. Uh, yeah, I've never experienced it. It's just something beautiful to be a part of. So just thank yeah. you, everyone, and thank you to our Lord. And I yeah. just feel so grateful and blessed. How thank you, brother. We love you, too. And you know, we all do this as a family, so always feel free to, to share. I, know, um, and I appreciate that. I think this would be a good time, Pat. You got something from he and I? Yeah, let me uh, – he says, uh, in secret, we are we are together in everything. And, and it says here um, – let me read it down here. Oh, this desire of my eternal love for oneness. I begin my life on earth again with each and every one of you. I begin my life on earth again with each and every one of you. My life wedded to yours. If you want to invite me, you remember how I walked with the disciples of Emmaus? And I do this for you. I walk along the same path with you, the path that I chose for you from all eternity. In this family, in this country where you live, it is I who placed you there with a special love. So live there full of faith, remembering that there, that there is where you will win heaven, where you will win eternal love for this brief moment in time. So pass through this life with the great desire to respond to all my tenderness and with constant impatience to know me at last. 
to know me, your your loving Savior. Haven't you always been a thought in my eternal mind? It would be only just for yours to be filled with me, my poor little children, so often ungrateful. And then Gabrielle was saying, um, you know, uh, for the faults that we do uh, and things we're not aware of um, that your sensitiv- sensitivity sees, you know, you know, the sorrow that we have. And he says, don't you know that because, this is great, don't you know because, <clears throat> I'm sorry, don't you know that because of my compassion, a single act of perfect love atones for a whole lifetime? That one humble and tender look from you pierces my heart with love, that I am sensitive to every cry of your heart? And uh, and over here, just quick, it says, a presence. How much there is in a presence? You do everything, work, prayers, thinking, talking, just as though I were there, and I actually am there. Don't you find this infinitely wonderful? When you wake up, I'm there. When you rest, I'm there. So you can say, he never leaves me alone. This is what makes your solitude divine. So there you go. Amen. Oh, he's sweet. Oh, he's sweet. <laughs> he wants, yes, he, he is. Wants to just love you guys, you know. Just give him a chance. <laughs> Tell him you love him. Don't worry about if you did this, that, or the other thing. Just say, Jesus, I love you. Take me in your arms, and I'm sorry, and get on with it with him, you know? just Amen. <laughs> you know, don't get all hung up, because he doesn't want you to be hung up. Amen. Satan wants you to be hung up. Satan wants you to just, you know, have a pity party with yourself and stay away, and he'll do everything he can to keep you from the arms of Jesus. So, you know, just don't listen to him. You know, Jesus, cover me with your precious blood. Take me in your arms. I'm sorry. I really want to do your will. Keep it simple. Keep it for the moment. And just be sincere with him. Just be sincere with him. Speak from your heart, and he'll do the rest. He's just wanting you to go a little bit, and he'll do the rest. He's the Father. He'll do the heavier end of things. But don't be afraid to to really just, you know, get over this, whatever is keeping you the distance from his arms, and just throw yourself, he says, in your greatest shortcomings, throw yourself into my arms. I came to heal and restore. Don't wait till you're pleased with yourself. Just throw yourself in my arms, and let's let's get this relationship going. Let's get over all the garbage, like, you know. You know, and just Amen. be his. Be That's his. True. Don't That's be true. afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> He loves you, so you guys are gonna uh, Yeah. Yeah. I gotta okay, bring no, I gotta bring someone else on here. When she calls in I gotta put her on right away because she gets mad. It's Sherry from Kentucky. Oh, hi Sherry <laughs> <laughs> I love you not get mad. <laughs> you <laughs> see you <laughs> love. God bless everybody with a happy night. Thank you. Uh, God bless I had you. two <laughs> visions I had two visions at work today. They were cool too. Um, first, let me say, take this before the Lord. I'm human, you know, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry, blah. I didn't mean that. (laughs) 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 Everything before the Lord. Um, I'm really curious as to what y'all think they might mean. I have, um, you know, my opinion, but, um, okay, so... Um, I went outside on my first break at 10 o'clock. It was around 10 this morning for my smoke break. Yes, I smoke. Pray for me. Whatever. Um, (laughs) Okay, so. Hi, um, that's okay, love. (laughs) Yeah, I know. Um, So (laughs) I'm sitting on my little smoking crate, and all of a sudden I see Jesus appear in the sky big. And he's wow. holding his hand out, and right across from him is a bride, and she's holding her hand out. And then all of a sudden, Jesus starts, um, I don't want to say he's backing away from her, but I can see that instead of them getting closer, the distance between them is getting bigger. And I was like, oh, no, no, go closer, not further away. <laughs> And then, and then out of the west, um, this Jesus disappeared or, or got out of my line of vision because out of the west, this huge serpent came over the bride and around in front of her. And then I noticed that Jesus wasn't there anymore. And then the serpent's tail became a serpent. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. had two heads, one on its tail, too. Ugh. And um, that was it. 
that was the the vision. So I I go back in work, and I'm just like so distracted, and I'm like, Lord, what does this mean? You know, blah blah blah, and and um, so then you know I have to do my job. So so I go back out at noon for my noon break to smoke again. Maybe it's the cigarettes I'm smoking. I don't know. Um, They're good. <laughs> what, what brand are those? I, uh, <laughs> I take my little crate, and I go sit on the side of the building, and um, I'm just sitting there, you know, and I was like, Lord, you know, what is the snake with the two heads, one on his tail and and all that? And a beam of light caught my eye, and I looked up, and there was a bride carrying flowers like she was walking down the aisle. And in front of her were two huge angels with their arms up like they were, um, I want to say they like they were blocking something. And in front of them appeared, and this freaked me out, I fell off my crate, this huge head of a dragon. I mean, it's probably the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life except for the 70 foot tall angels but so out of this huge dragon's mouth um, a woman's face the head of a woman comes out and she kind of reminds me of like um, and sorry if you don't know this this show Cruella DeVille off of oh, yeah. One Dalmatians mm-hmm. and and the dragon just literally evaporated, and so then here's this the head of the woman and these two angels with their arms up like they're blocking something, and I'm sorry to sound gross about this part, but the woman's face just keeps getting bigger and longer, and her mouth opens, and out of her mouth, I don't know how else to say it, but she like vomits this stuff out of her mouth it was just this swirly stuff it was going everywhere and um that was it that was wow. it well, you know, everything just um like, i was stacy stacy had put in here i think that that it, uh the lord has to get rid of the devil that's basically coming between us the jesus and the bride but i'm really struggling with the second one of understanding any I mean, I, I, you described it accurate, but I have no idea. So I'm I have no idea. very curious. Yes. Yeah. What did you either. get from it, Sherry? Um, well, because of the way the angels were, first was the bride, and she's, she's carrying her bouquet. It was very distinct. I knew she was a bride, and she was really big. And then the two angels appeared in front of her, and then all of a sudden they put their arms up like they were blocking something. So I took it as they were protecting the bride. Um, the the uh, woman coming out of the, the uh, dragon's mouth and spewing this stuff out, I have no idea, uh, unless it's just, to me, it's the Lord saying we're still being attacked, but we're being protected. That was the only thing I've got from it. I, now, I haven't had time to pray on these two visions, so that's why I said, you know, take it before the Lord, um, because I had to work today, and I've only had like three hours sleep. Oh, honey. And I wanted to stay up and um, not miss the show, so um, <clears throat> that's why I'm saying everybody, you know, um, take it before the Lord and... But the dragon's head was so big. It was like, wow. if it wasn't, I hate to say it was really awesome looking. I wasn't scared in any way, even though I did fall off my crate. Because its head just <laughs> kept getting bigger and bigger and wow. bigger until it opened. And then this woman, then this woman came out, this, this evil looking woman. And for some reason, she just reminded me of Cruella de Vil. Yeah, and then little. her face started getting longer, and her mouth just opened, and all this stuff just spewed out of her mouth. So, um, and then that was it. In an instant, it was gone. Wow. I just was like, okay, wow. get back on your crate, finish your cigarette, go back and work. It's all yeah. good. Uh, 
No. So I don't know. Wow. But he didn't scare me, though, so. No, no, Praise no. God. That's Nothing a, scares so, me. <laughs> tell you what. Wow. Terry gets to see some pretty wild stuff. Mm. Yeah, I do. Wow. So I don't know. So what do you guys? Well, someone somewhere will have an interpretation. You know, God will give it to us somewhere. The stuff came coming out of the woman's mouth was all like lines, and but it was all like swirly and just falling to the ground. Yeah. Just it just I don't know what it was, but it wasn't good. I, I mean, I knew enough to know that whatever was coming out of her was oh. was not uh, was demonic or it wasn't happy. But the the angels no. just kept marching along with the bride in front of her with their arms up. Protecting just her. Just like they were blocking something. Her. So. Evil. I don't know, guys. Well, the bride could be under attack from the devil real hard right now. I mean, it could oh, be. Oh, yeah. In the, I mean, oh, I'm sure we're being you know, attacked viciously oh, yeah. because he knows his yeah. time is so short. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Uh, and that's, that's it. So that's I'm going to wish so everybody. Important. I'm going to God bless you all with a happy night and get off you too, here. Love. And I'm listening. Okay. God bless all right, we love you, Sherry. Happy God bless night. you. We love, we love you, honey. Love you too. Aww. She's so awesome. She, oh, she's, she's so beautiful. awesome. Just love her to pieces. I got two one zero. I got to bring on here. Hello, two one zero. Well, hello, Jason and Pat. Hi, and sweetie. Hello, Hi. Carol. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I wish Sherry would have. I wish Sherry would have stayed on, and maybe she can call call right back because, um, you know the the dream that she had was so. I mean, it just was speaking uh, volumes to me, and uh, uh, but there was so much in it that I I just want to make sure I've got all the pieces of the the information together. But what I what what I came out of it um is that uh you know the uh the angels that, that she saw that I, I think she said they were lifting uh, lifting their hands up. Um I believe they're they're getting ready to take us out of the way, they're when we get raptured, they're with us. You know, we all have guardian angels, and they're 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 going. Uh, they're they're right there. They're they're right there for us. They're also protecting us at this very um, moment in time that we're we're living in. We're living in the very last seconds, and uh, especially the the rapture centric church is is really being. Um, it's more. It's it's. Um, it's being attacked, but it's not really being being uh um we just dropped Carol. So Carol call oh. back if you Yeah, we just Carol, I'm sorry, I sorry I think we just lost several people because Judy was calling in to make an announcement and she just dropped too. Mm, I'm here. No, I can see everybody that's still here. It shows me when everybody's dropping off there. Hmm. Um, Judy, are you calling right back in? Let's see her. There she is. All right. Judy, you got 5 minutes, 30 seconds of uh, broadcast. So, guys, call into the show if you want to go for the other 15 minutes. Can you hear me okay, Jason? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think it's really cool. Um, God told Christine Pina, she just sent me an inbox, that it would be seven days between the translation and the rapture. He told three other people it would be seven days. And I just wow. think it's interesting. So I'm really excited yeah. to hear what tells the translation event. He really really showed us it would be a seven-day uh, lapse in between the, the rapture and the uh, translation, that's just exciting. But I also just wanted to say real quick, Jason, if I may, um, that we have a Facebook page by Scott Barrett. If everyone could just go to Facebook and like it, he's trying to put the rapture-centric news out on Facebook for people to understand and believe. And so I just wanted to encourage people in my last video, there's a link to it. And then Ashley Chambers 
is posting all the words at the blog spot. It's in the description box at the last video I made. There's just a lot of it. God's getting this word out now through Facebook, through the blog spot, through the videos, through the radio show. He's wanting people to know that he's coming to take us. So I just want to make that announcement, Jason. That's all. Judy, you have a link for it on one of your videos? I have a link for everything in all of my videos now, but the very last video, yeah, you can see the link to the Facebook, to the blog spot, okay. to the radio shows, to everything. Is this Joe? Yeah, hello. That's Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Judy. How are you? Joe, Joe. <laughs> Judy. Um, yeah, hey, I, tr- I heard. Great. What's yeah. that? No, you talk first. Go ahead. Oh, I said um, I heard uh, yesterday about the Facebook page, but I tried to look on it. I'm, I'm not too tech savvy, so I'm not surprised I found it. So thank you for putting that link. As soon as I can get on my laptop, I'm gonna I'm gonna get on that yeah. Facebook page. It, it's really cool. He's still working on the page, but we checked it out. I don't go on Facebook, but I use my sister's account and I checked it out. It looks really cool. Right on. Oh, that's and awesome. Anyway. On the Facebook, he posted the link to the blog spot so you can read all the prophetic words God's giving through everybody that's in this church. Be sure and email Ashley. The link is on my last video because all you have to do is email her your word and she'll put it on the blog, you guys. So we can all, so you know, when we have the radio show and people read words and then we want to hear them again, all the words will be posted there. But what were you going to say, Joe? Oh, I was just going to say thank you for doing that because I remember hearing about the Word thing, too, and emailing. Again, I am, like, only, like, two months ago the Lord had me even get on YouTube. So I'm still kind of – I tried inboxing you. I don't know how to. You know? So I'm still well, trying to welcome. figure it out. Welcome. <laughs> Are you feeling me, Pat? You feeling me? I, I, I'm just – I'm, like, the, the biggest dummy on the computer. <laughs> uh, well, I think you're the second biggest right after me. <laughs> you know, I actually said inbox, like – Seven days ago, Joe. Ooh. Um, I actually have to board my plane now. But um oh, just safe trip. Much Angel fun. with you. Thank Angel you. I will you. I, oh definitely. I will be okay, calling well. you guys from from Florida very soon and Ooh, uh, Florida, God bless we're you. jealous. <laughs> uh I I'm I'm going down to see my sister. This is a very random thing. I'm oh, very excited, no. yeah. Yeah, this is give the palm trees a kiss for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. And, uh, yes, I, what's that? Bye, everybody. Bye, Joe. Bye, brother. Bye. <laughs> um, guys, we got a minute 44 left in the show before it goes into podcast, so please do call in. Join us for another 15 minutes because we got started late. Um, I do have to bring you in. 819, hello, 819. I'm just listening, Jason. <laughs> okay, hi, Raina. Hey, Raina. How are you guys? Hello. I'm just listening because uh, you are going to podcast. I don't want to miss that. Hey, man, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to 818. I want to make sure everybody that's broadcasting can broadcast. 818, Hello. Hi, it's Tana from California. Hi, Hi sweetie. Hi, Tana from California. I love you. <laughs> I'm just getting we ready all love to work you. out. So. Oh, thanks. I'm just getting ready Thank to do my little workout. So, uh, shout out to the chat. Shout out, of course, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our pastor. And shout out to you all online talking to me. So, anyway, love Thank you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> all right. Love you, too. You can, you can Bye, mute me. Sweetie. Okay, Carol's back. Okay. Okay, Carol's back. Oh, hello. I'm just listening right hello, now. Hello, Carol. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Oh, let me... <laughs> uh, I had to mute, mute the chat. I just wanted to call before before uh, you know, it went off the air so right, we could continue, you know, fellowshipping and, and laughing and acting silly. In the <laughs> hey, man. Hey. I got um, Chris 814. Go ahead. Chris at 814. Hey, what's up? Hi, Chris. How much, brother? How are you? How are you doing? Good. Hey, I just wanted to uh, share. I don't know if Keyshawn's still on or not, but I just wanted to share that uh, he gave... Uh, 
his last name reminded me of something. I, I tried since I've been saved to go through uh, my past and, you know, just remember, you know, who I can that I needed to uh, give forgiveness to, you know, for ways that they've wronged me and that, that I've been upset about in the past. It was something God put on my heart he wanted me to do. And I had forgotten about somebody. And Keyshawn's last name actually reminded me of it. There was uh, when I when I got custody of my children, like seven years ago now. Um, when I when I got them, my my ex wife had uh, she's diagnosed with something called Munchausen by proxy, and uh, it's where you over medicate your children. And she had found a doctor named Doctor Patel uh, that had. Each one of my kids, one was on seven medications, one was on six medications, just a bunch of false diagnoses, and and uh, I had really, really held a grudge against this guy. It took me a while to, uh, you know, get them stripped off the medications and get, uh, you know, real doctors to do uh, the right prescriptions. And I just wanted to, you know, say that, you know, uh, I think God put him in there for a reason to uh, just remind me that I needed to go give this guy you know, forgiveness. And I actually try and go to these people and, you know, say, look, I, you know, I was judgmental of you. I needed to, you know, I need to, you know, just whether you forgive me or you even care, I, you know, to get it off my heart, God wants me to do it. So just wanted to share that. Amen. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Can you go ahead and put your clothes on now? (laughs) Yes, I will. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was getting ready to have tubby time. Oh. <laughs> it's your rubber ducky. Judy stole my rubber ducky. Oh. <laughs> and gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> oh. God, you're a hoot. Hey, hey, and also, thank you, Jason, for for your text today. But again, no worries. I don't get I don't get offended easily. It didn't I it didn't even phase me. I didn't even think about it that way. So don't sweat it. Oh, and Jason's smoking. Oh yeah, I just you know he's just a sinner. If you guys need prayer to quit smoking, go to Jason. He'll pray for you. <laughs> I, I wanna. I, I have a. This is serious. I have a. I have a testimony on how I quit smoking. You guys want to oh. hear it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better hurry okay. up and say it before Jason hears it. <laughs> uh, well, this was this was when I was twenty years old. I was not saved yet, but the Holy Spirit was already working on me. Well, I at that time. It was the 70s, and I smoked a lot, and I smoked a lot of pot as well. Um, and so one evening, I was at my friend's house, and we were um, <laughs> uh, we were playing cards, and I was pretty stoned. Well, there was a guy that was sitting next to me who, I don't know, he he liked me. I mean, he liked me. He cared for me. Uh, really cared, had a genuine care for me. And he didn't smoke, and he didn't like he didn't like seeing me smoke because he didn't like it anyway. Well, I was really really stoned, and I was about to lit up a, a cigarette, and he took my cigarette from me before I lit it up, cut off the filter, and then he rolled up the two ends, and he lit it. Well, I was so stoned already that I looked at. I looked at the cigarette, and part of my brain was saying it's a cigarette, and part of my brain was saying, no, it's a really cool doobie. And so I went ahead and put it in my mouth. I kid you not, the, I, you know, you, you sometimes see things in the spirit and you don't really know that you've seen them in the spirit, but I can tell you in retrospect and even at that time, there was something that that had me suck as as much as I could that, that cigarette. And when I sucked it off, 
Nate wants white rice, and I want half white. Oh, okay, so when I when I set that all in, it was a cigarette. It was not dope, and in, immediately, but it was like I couldn't. I I, I it, there was like something holding it, holding the cigarette in my mouth, causing me to suck it, suck it all in. Now, on the one hand, I'll tell you the truth. I feel like it was an angel from God that had me had me suck it to teach me a lesson. At as soon as I and everybody was shocked at what was happening, and as soon as I was able to let go, I immediately went into the bathroom and started throwing up and throwing up and throwing up, and I couldn't stop throwing up for about two weeks, especially if there was somebody in the room smoking. And um, about two weeks after that, I got saved. So the Holy Spirit was already preparing me to get saved. So and and that's how that's how he uh, you know and wow. I believe it was it was his <clears throat> angel that had me that. purposely yeah. you know suck that smoke in so that I could get violently ill to stop smoking because he was already preparing my way to get to to give myself to the Lord. Now that's just that that was my story. And that's all I wanted to to uh, to share. It was it's a true story that happened to me when I was when I was 20 years old, and I don't expect Jason or anybody to go through what I did, and I I don't want them to. But that really was that that really did happen to me, and wow. and I knew right then and there. What was strange is I knew it was an angel, not the devil. It was an angel holding that that cigarette in my mouth so that. I would quit, and at that moment, after that, man, and I was smoking, by the way, I was smoking between two and three packs of cigarettes a day. Ooh. So I was really, and, and then I, I smoked a lot of pot as well and did a lot of speed. And people look at me today, and well, they look for years and years. I mean, golly, yeah. Since I was wow. 21, people, people. Uh, after I got, I got saved when I was 20, but by the time I was 21, and I would tell them my story, people would just like, "You what? You used to what?" <laughs> and I also, and every other every other word that came out of me was was the F word. So uh, <laughs> you know, I was I was all over the place. I was all over the place. But um, you know wow. that um, the 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 Lord's love for me was um before the foundation of the world and mm-hmm. it's not just for me his love is for all of us before the foundation of the world yeah. and um and that's what's so wonderful about uh, about the you know the, people don't understand the rapture centric church and that's why we're attacked that's why the, that's why Judy especially is attacked because they don't really understand you know we we walk in spirit we live in the spirit Yes. And God knows and sees all things and hears all things. And by golly, as much as I do not like bathroom talk, <laughs> that's me. You know, I just don't like it. You know, but hey, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't let it bother me. I mean, my goodness. You know, I have. I fart. You know, <laughs> it's natural. It's it's all natural. But you know. It, yeah, and so when people get all, ooh, you know, that, that that's just nasty. Don't talk like that. Well, I don't like to talk like that, but by golly, we all we all do it. And God knows it, and he hears it. And, you know, he's talk, he smells it, too, you know, it smells. He knows all things. And we're not being disrespectful to the Lord. You know, we're just, it's like what Judy said, and I've, and I've tried to explain to to people, you know what? There's so many Christians that are so religious, and God has allowed you know, this kind of language to come out to just uh, you know break that spirit of religious uh, religious authority. authority. But in but if they truly knew us and truly knew Judy and the the rapture centric saints, they know that the Lord Jesus is. Is our Savior, our Deliverer. He is our God. You know, He He's our King, and He's coming for us. And we are washed and cleansed in the blood 
of the Lamb. And nobody in the rapture-centric um, circle has ever denied the Lord Jesus, has, nev- has never denied the power of his blood and the, and, and the great power of his deliverance in us. Yeah, we, you know, that, that some of us, um, that some people smoke or cuss or whatever, but, you know, that the Lord's not looking at perfection. He's looking at our hearts. And he's looking nope. at our, you know, and, and, and how we're allowing him to work himself in us. Because we're not, you know, we're not saved by works. The, the works come because we love the Lord. You know, he takes things, he, he changes our desires. And so with some people, it's instantly, like in my case, you know, I, when, I, when, when I got saved, you know, I mean, I kid you not. Five minutes before I got saved, you know, I was smok- no, I wasn't smoking because I got, I, I had already quit smoking and I was at work. But I was cussing, uh, and I was, I, I never cussed because I was angry. It was just because I thought I was, that's what everybody did. You know, I was, I was twenty, and, um, you know, and and but, but the way I lived, you know, uh, I was a party girl, <clears throat> and I and and as soon as, I mean, as soon as I got saved, in fact. My salvation was so strong. I got saved at work. I didn't get saved in a church or in uh, or in my bedroom. I got saved at work. There was I worked with about uh, twelve um, brothers and sisters in Christ who were my age. They were twenty, and they went to the same church. And when we and and you know and and everybody thought, oh, they're Jesus freaks. They're Jesus freaks. You know. But I was a friendly person, so I went up to to. To one of the guys in the in in the break room, and I said, "Hey, what are you reading?" He was reading his Bible at break. This was 1975, mm. um, and and he's reading his Bible, and I said, "Oh wow!" And and you know he was <laughs> he, he was very strong in the in the word, and of course, little did I know that he was he was paying attention to what to the fact that I asked him a question about the word of God. Right? I didn't know what was going to happen from there. But he, you know, you know how we are, boy. So he, 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 he grabbed hold of me, and he, he took me through the Word of God and show, you know, from Genesis to Revelation, he was showing me scriptures, you know, how the Lord came that we would have life. He showed me the tree of life in Genesis. He showed me the tree of life in Revelation. He showed me that he was the bread of life, you know, the the water of life, and 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 I, I was just over. Uh, I was just being enveloped by the presence of the Lord. And then he says to me, hey, do you want to get saved? And I looked at him, and I said, right here? Mm-hmm. And, I, and he says, yeah. I said, right now? And he said, mm-hmm. yeah. And I said, um, well, and I kid you not, my heart started beating a thousand uh, a thousand minutes a second or whatever it was just, i thought it was going to come out of my body it was beating mm. so fast i was so scared i was so scared oh. and i i said well wait 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 i can't do it right now i can't do it you know, just give me a second just give me a second and he said don't worry you know when you're ready to pray with me i'm right here and i said okay oh. so i started pacing up and down up and down up and down for about two minutes, and finally, when I looked up, he's he looking at me with a great big smile, and I went right over to him and I said, "Okay, I can't take this anymore. I know that I'm going to get sick, so I may as well I may as well get it over with right now." So <sighs> I prayed and I asked the I asked the Lord Jesus to wash me and cleanse me of all of my sins. I asked Beautiful. Him to come inside of to come inside of me to be to be my Lord. Because. And to be my savior, and at that moment, the spirit of God hit me. And you talk about being hammered; I was hammered, and and everybody at work stopped to look at me, and they're like, "What happened to you? What happened to you?" And then somebody, I couldn't even speak, and somebody said, "She got Jesus," and I looked at them and I said, "Yes, I did, I did," and that, that from that and. and Five people got saved from my work, and then, and there was this one girl. There was this one girl that I worked with, and she didn't go to the church that this this brother that led me to the Lord did. Where and, and all all the, the, these people, and she was a Christian, and and 
because of my salvation, she started, she started going to the church that they went to because that's you know they I started going there uh, right away and and she pulled me aside one one day about a month later and she said to me you know Carol when I saw when because we had worked for a long time and she had she said to she told me I told the Lord one day when I saw you this was before I got saved when she looked at me she told the Lord wow Lord there is no hope for that girl is there. And because of my salvation, she she got filled with the Holy Spirit and started going to to the the church where where the the saints were going to because she knew that the power of God was so very strong there and the love of Jesus was so very strong there. And wow. that was the that was that was the beginning of my my journey, and I've been through the valley of the shadow of death. Uh, but like I told somebody, you know what? We all go through the valley of the shadow of death, so that when we get to the other side, we're able to stretch out our hand to to the next person who's in the valley of the shadow of death and say, "Hey, I made it through there. You can too. Come on out of there, in the mighty name yeah. of Jesus." So Beautiful. that's my story, and I just wanted to share.